Drivers get ready for more eyes on the roads in Colorado Springs. The city council just approved a new speed camera vans to hit the road this year. It's labeled as a possible way to slow down speeders by taking their picture and sending them a ticket in the mail. But there's been some uncertainty over the costs of such a program. Cardio 13's Quinn Ritzdorf is live at Doherty High School to explain where you might see these speed cameras. Quinn. Yeah, Heather, today Cardio 13 investigates asked the Colorado Springs Police Department exactly where they will place their two speed camera vehicles. And the first place they mentioned was right here at Doherty High School. Last year, a Doherty High School student died after a car crashed into her while she was walking through the crosswalk. It's part of the motivation for Colorado Springs to launch its new speed van camera program. It is one piece that we can add to our whole arsenal of traffic enforcement to really provide uh, more safe streets for everybody. These cameras won't be on the street until the end of the year, and when the department rolls them out, they're required to give residents a 30-day notice. Other cities have similar programs with mixed results. The city of Aurora just got rid of its program because it was losing money. I just wish we had a better way of tracking to see if we are losing money or we're actually making a lot of money, and that would be my biggest um, concern. Colorado Springs Police still doesn't know how much this program will cost. They expect to issue about 12 speeding tickets per hour. And those tickets will be $40 in parks and neighborhoods and $80 in school and construction zones. They say these fines should pay for the program. Now, this isn't about revenue. It's not about generating money for the city. It's about increasing the safety on our streets, making sure that our strategies are about, make, about helping us not have people injured or killed on our streets. The city will mail tickets to the registered owner of the vehicle, not the driver. Now, if the owner doesn't pay the ticket, they will receive two warnings before those fines are turned over to collections. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Cornerstorf, Cardio, 13 of us